Witten Gunworks. I'd like to take a few minutes and tell you about how to calculate the neck diameter that you want to have inside of a non-bushing custom sizer die. To do this calculation for what neck diameter you want in your die, there are just a couple of considerations we're going to go through. We're going to use this 6mm BR cartridge right here, and the first thing we're going to do is to measure the neck outside diameter, and you see I get an answer of .270 inches in this case. So we've got the loaded round neck diameter right here, and for our example, let's say we desire a neck tension of two thousandths of an inch. We subtract the two thousandths neck tension, this gives us an answer of .268 inches. Now the brass, when it's being sized, is going to spring back a little bit, and typically that's going to be one thousandth of an inch. That's going to vary a little bit depending on the age of the brass and stuff, but one thousandth is a pretty safe number. We subtract that one thousandth of an inch, and we get .267 as a desired inside size in the neck of this die. There are a few other things I'd like to point out about this calculation that will somewhat influence the results. One of them is the brand of brass that you're going to use, as different brands sometimes take the sizing a little bit differently. Second, if you decide you're going to neck turn the brass, uh, knowing what thickness of the neck you're going to use is important in this. And lastly, the age of the brass and really how much the brass has worked hard, and that also affects the amount of sizing. If there's any doubt in your mind what to do on this calculation, we suggest that you go to the smaller side of what you think you would want because you can always pull an expander back through the case neck to get, uh, get where you need to be. For any other questions or comments or uh, any guidance on the topic, you can contact us through our website's probably best at widdengunworks.com.